sometimes people don't really have a good grasp of Facebook reactions or emojis. So today's episode with Coffee with Nikki will be to talk about the proper use of reactions or emojis. Before reactions came along, we just had the simple like button, which I never understood why people would like something tragic that happened to someone else. Now I get it. You know, you you didn't mean to say that you love the fact that the person's um, tragedy happened and that you were truly, really just heart weeping over it, but the like just didn't really convey that to someone looking in from the outside like me. So I, I mean, I never took offense at it, but you know, it's just, you just, the like, it just didn't seem to fit with the context of the status. So when Facebook came along with the uh, reactions, I was thrilled. I was like, yay, finally we can have another option to show emotion. Um, one of the biggest complaints uh, from another person who did, didn't apparently understand social media is that face-to-face -face is better than online because your voice has inflections, your facial expressions has, and your body language all help to convey the thought or the words better than the online chat. Now, to some extent, maybe. However, with the advent of reactions and emojis, we now can put emotion into our statuses so we can kind of get rid of the miscommunication that happens in online communication. And I've got to say, miscommunication is going to happen in face-to-face, -to -face too. Um, you can misread body language or just have no discernment whatsoever. Or if, if you're like me, your sense of humor sometimes is not quite well received by other people or you have foot in the mouth disease like I do. <laughs> so uh, so this is what reactions are. You've got thumbs up, you've got angry, you've got wow, you've got sad, you've got love, and all those um, uh, reactions. Now one of the proper uses of anger would be like agree with, um, things like that. Another uh, reaction, wow, is the perfect non-reaction. It's like a status you read and you don't quite know how to react so you put wow because that's the only thing you can think of. Uh, sorrow, obviously, tragedy, illness, you know, 9-11, uh, all those are obvious sorrow. Love, you know, you may love only part of the status, that still counts as love. You can love part of the status. Um, someone asks for prayer, you can, you can love it. Like is your default, you know. I use like as actually an acknowledgement that I've read the status so that the people on my friends list know that I care and I'm reading. Um, but one of the things that we need to not default to is just hitting like, 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 like. Um, we should be practicing conversation. So an, another thing to convey emotions in your conversations online is called emoticons, or emojis, I mean. Emojis are great. Um, as you can see, you've got so many things you can download for free to use your favorite cartoon characters or movie figures to emotionally convey your comment to someone. Um, my favorite currently is the dog that laughs or cries or whatnot. I really like using that in the comments section. But you can also um, use that in your private, in the, pr the messenger option too, in your private messages on Facebook. So. Word to the wise, when you even think some, someone might misunderstand what you're saying, use the emojis, use the reactions, but most importantly, engage your friends. Leave a well thought out comment and let them know that you took the time to write those two sentences down rather than a quick like. Sometimes all you have time is a quick like or a love or an angry or whatever, but make sure you're writing out once in a while a comment to let the person know that you took the time to think of them. A comment on a Facebook status is like mailing a letter to someone. And in this age of not spending that much time with people, writing a comment is spending time with people. You really want to engage. And another thing, may I please beg you, please stop using caps. Caps is shouting! Stop using caps. Anyway, 
So I am going to get some more coffee. Hope you have a great day. See you next week. We're back on schedule.